Hello, welcome to the lesson Introduction to Torque Control of Electric Motor. In this video, we will introduce what is the requirement of torque control in electric motor and basic thing about its hardware and other requirement. So let's start. Parameters need to be controlled in case of electric motor generally we need to control the speed. So to control the speed we can either change the voltage or we can change the current. To maintain the constant speed we require the speed feedback that means speed sensing arrangement is required to implement the closed loop speed control or it is called the open loop speed control if without the speed sensor just we change the voltage or current to change the speed and we can implement the closed loop current system with the help of current sensor or controlling current by changing the voltage in case of like DC motor. But speed of the motor is result from the torque. So first torque generated in the current carrying conductor which result in the speed higher torque generated result in higher speed. So if we want to control the speed we can also control the torque, torque can be controlled by the controlling the current. If we look at this all three parameter independently then to control the speed in closed loop that means when we require the closed loop to maintain the constant speed irrespective of change in other parameter like load. So even if load changes speed should remain constant if this is the requirement we require speed control. And in case of current control and voltage control we need to maintain the constant current. In some motor the constant current also result in constant torque and in some motor it is not. But when we require the constant torque in application that means generated torque by the motor should remain constant irrespective of the change in load or other parameter that means suppose we require the constant torque. So how this constant torque will be achieved? It will change the parameter which generate the torque that means current. So current will vary and torque will remain constant. So this can be achieved by different techniques called the direct torque control when we require the actual torque that need to be measured and that is torque control method. So in control system we can implement the closed loop control system. So let us discuss further which motor required the direct torque control and why. So if we discuss about the say for the DC motor we know that torque is directly proportional to current if flux is constant or I into IF field current. So torque is proportional to current. What it means if we maintain the constant current in DC motor then torque also will be constant. So there is no need to implement the torque control in case of DC motor. In it can be simply achieved by controlling the current. So if current is constant torque will also remain constant. But it is not same for other motor like induction motor, BLDC and switch electric motor. Even if current is constant, torque is changing. So that we need to implement the direct torque control if we want to maintain the torque constant. So in which application we need to maintain the torque constant? Because torque will result in speed. So if torque is changing, which result in change in speed. Now what is the ratio of this torque to speed change? So if inertia of load is less there will be the larger change in speed. If this is speed is slow then also this will be reflected in speed. So if application is such that we do not allow this torque ripple or the variation in speed then we need to implement the direct torque control. If inertia of load is very high then even change in speed speed sorry change in torque may not result in change in speed because inertia of load is very high. So in this case if we want the constant speed slightly 
variation in torque is allowed simply like that so we do not require the torque control method so that means it does not depend upon the motor only it depends upon actually application for which application we are using which motor and it will decide either we require the torque control or not now we also need to understand hardware requirement for implementing control system because when you study direct torque control you will see there are in hardware different sensors and different calculations are required which is extensive mathematics and required the higher more sophisticated electronic processors so for the speed control we required the speed measurement for the speed measurement we have the mechanical speed sensor that can be used for the current and voltage control we required the current sensor and voltage control now with compared to position sensor speed sensor and torque sensor the current sensor and voltage sensors are considered to be cost effective and easy to implement and also required less size so less in volume size weight as well as in cost so generally we do not bother about using current sensor and voltage sensor in any case but if you want to implement the speed control right by using speed sensor or position sensor it will have some complication like extra cost then size and also reliability issue then if you want to implement the torque control that means we require the torque sensor which can measure the torque now torque sensor are also costly or generally what we do we can calculate or estimate the torque from the voltage and current reading right the same way we can also estimate the flux so we generally try to achieve the torque control and torque signal by estimating the torque value from current and voltage but there are also drawback and some limitation but if we want to implement real effective and accurate torque control system we can also use the costly torque sensor it depend upon the application what application demand but conclusion is if you are going to study the direct torque control you must have the application where fluctuation in torque is not allowed and why you need to understand like the power steering application if you are using electric motor in the power steering application you may require the very precise control so there are also certain application now if we discuss about the switch reactance motor we know that in the switch reactance motor torque is proportional to current but as well as the rotor angle so even you maintain the constant current then torque will not remain the constant unlike the dc motor so in switch reactance motor if you maintain the current constant there will be the torque ripple because torque is function of rotor angle also so at each position the torque will, amount of torque will be different so by implementing direct torque control you can achieve the constant torque by allowing change in current right so you need to allow either change in current you cannot achieve both if you want to achieve the constant torque control then you will adjust your controller such that it will adjust the current to maintain the torque constant assuming you will have the torque sensor or you are estimating the torque from the voltage in current so the direct torque control method we need to estimate the torque from the voltage and current in general and how uh, what are the algorithm to estimate the torque what is the accuracy of that algorithm what are the problem at lower speed higher speed and calculation so these all things you need to study in any direct torque control method and algorithm so hope you got idea about the torque control of electric motor and direct torque control in swap thank you